Hello and welcome to Unprofessional Engineering. My name is James. And you got Luke. Luke, one of my favorite episodes of oh, the year. Oh, I can't agree with you more, James. If, if there was, I don't think I've ever agreed with you more than that wow. statement. Just saying. That is amazing because we usually agree on everything. <laughs> it is the Unprofessional Engineering Christmas List 2020 edition. Wah, wah. I feel I feel <laughs> like this is gonna be a mask. <laughs> it's gonna be terrible because it's 2020, right? I know, right? Oh. Everything 2020 is just the worst. All right. So this year we have kind of similar to the past, but a little different, broken it into a few categories. Uh what is it? Like under a hundred smackers. So like <laughs> if you're not rolling in cash like us from podcasts, yeah. um a hundred to five hundred. 500 and above for people with podcast money. Like me. Yes, yes, like you. Aspiring engineers. Yes. And then this year we have some things maybe you should avoid from buying that engineer in your life. Well, I, so I went a little broader on that, James. Uh-oh. It's stuff you really shouldn't buy anybody. <laughs> That's fair. Because I think terrible. it qualifies all the way yes. around. Okay. So let's kick things off with under $100 category. Would you like to do this? I would like to go first. So yes. mine, this is $16.99. And mm-hmm. this is patent drawing artwork specifically this is the nikola tesla wall art patent prints it's a set of <laughs> six eight by tens and it is it literally has like amazing reviews you can get all this stuff on amazon you can also just google patent drawing artwork and i don't know about you james but i think there's going to be a theme to my gifts at least it's going to be you know everybody's at home everybody has these terrible offices that like aren't decorated because you're like sitting at your dining room table or yours is actually pretty good um but the idea of kind of bringing a little bit of that engineering to like the the home office or the yeah. kitchen or wherever you happen to be and these things look amazingly cool they look like vintage like hand-drawn patent drawings i think you know They're what i'm awesome, talking man. about oh yeah i have them on my list as an honorable mention actually really like, what a- yeah they're so cool but also as i was adding them i was like oof that's where i'm at in life where i'm like <laughs> man are these drawings house. cool <laughs> you are old if, yes. if decorating your house is what makes what is what kind of gets you going yeah yeah, yeah you're it's old. terrible i love that pick luke that's a 16.99 really that's a great deal too. All right. My first one that I have makes me kind of sad that I'm even putting this on my list, but considering that it's, you know, the Christmas season, I added the $24.99 Amazon smart plug to my list. Oh my goodness. I need one. Yeah. So they, you can basically hook them up to anything, right? Mm-hmm. You just plug them into an outlet. Uh, you can use them on like a living room lamp, or you could use them, I guess you could use them on a television. Or in the case that I want them for right now, you could use them on your Christmas tree. That's exactly what I need them like, for. Exactly. Yo, Alexa, turn on my Christmas tree. Boom, it happens. How awesome and lazy and privileged my, is that? My biggest one is, so I don't I, I don't have a timer for my outside lights. Ooh, and nice. at like 11 o'clock at night or midnight, night before I go to bed, I got to, I got to go outside, like, you know, in my underpants, freezing cold, and yeah. I got to unplug the plug. And sometimes I forget. So that's what I want it for. I want it for my outside. Christmas that's a lights. good idea. I wonder if it's for all weather. That's well, my, my plugs covered. outside are covered. They're on my porch. So it'd probably oh, okay. be okay. I, I think, think mine are, but okay. That's a great one. Okay. Uh, my next on. one. Uh, so this is $44 and pretty much all of my stuff is on Amazon. So this is $44 mm-hmm. and this is a Stanley. It's called a Tylon tape measure. It's an English and metric tape measure. Uh, it's eight meters or roughly 7,000 feet, you know, <laughs> doing the conversion correctly. Um, But I don't know about you, but like every time like me and my wife go somewhere and we're like looking for like chairs or vanities or dressers, we always want to know how big like the wall is or what we have already. And then when you go to like home goods or Ikea, you have like no idea if it's going to fit. Be honest, you guys are going antiquing. I know it. No, exactly. No? (laughs) No, 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 definitely not. So I always need a tape measure and I always lose one. This one is a Stanley great tape measure, 44 bucks and just throw it in your car and you always have a tape measure. That's a great idea. 
Uh, my next one, following along with the James is now old and <laughs> loving decorations uh, theme here. I just I saw this. I've never seen anything like it. The Gal- Galileo thermometer. Uh, if you haven't checked out our episode Galileo? on Galileo, do this. So this thing is like, I don't know, this tall. You can't see it because you're not watching the video, <laughs> but it's probably like. A bigger than a tall. bread box. It's bigger than a bread box tall, but it's pretty thin and it's filled up with, you know, liquid. But oh, is that the bubbles? Of that, yeah, it has bulbs, like little glass bulbs yep. or something with different liquids in them. I've and therefore, seen those depending on the temperature of the surrounding air, it causes the bulbs to rise and fall. So, depending mm. on which ones are up at the top, you know the temperature outside. That's interesting. Is it necessary? No, I have a phone that tells me the temperature, <laughs> but man, is it cool. I just I think like it's that awesome. One. $39.95, of course, on Amazon. Very good. Uh, my next one is $47.95. And you know me, James. Mm. I, I always, I love little like pocket trinkety kind of things. And this you is do. the Leatherman oh, uh, Skeletool lightweight multi-tool with combo knife and bottle opener in stainless steel. Mm-hmm. The coolest thing about this one, uh, the Skeletool, is it has a little like carabiner hook thingy okay that you can like throw on your backpack on your keychain it's not too big uh it's under 50 dollars, so really great price i love leatherman stuff and yep. you know the fact that it has all of those little things the problem though and i like this one if you don't already have one because if you're like me you probably have a multi-tool kind of collection like i buy one and then i get a cheap one from a conference and i keep and i get another one and i literally probably have 10 multi-tools wow so i should probably get rid of them all and james you should buy me a skeletal for 47.95 on amazon i think that sounds like a good plan uh i was thinking about adding one to my list here as well i'm not sure if it was the exact same one that you're mentioning but it was around that price um they're super awesome and i probably told this on one of the 200 something episodes we've done but i'm kind of scarred from the old leatherman (laughs) because i had one that i really liked i super useful great to have around no i was going to a steelers game and they were like you can't bring that in here because it's Life. but it's like little scissors it's uh, like little pliers it's like, to throw it in a little trash bin and i had to have. throw it in the little trash bin because i couldn't turn around and like take it somewhere Walk all the way to get back in for the, the game yeah have so. you ever speaking of that have you ever gone to the airport and you realized you had like some kind of contraband on you accidentally and you had to like put it in the contraband box i usually hide my contraband pretty well <laughs> but um yes that has happened to me before okay, okay. just checking <laughs> all righty what's your last under 100 dollars, james my last under 100 100 is a total waste of money, but this is something that I find really entertaining. For twenty five twenty nine, Ooh, you can get good. a set of four chemistry beaker shot glasses. It has like the Bunsen beaker. It has like the little, like the one little round one. Yeah, and yeah. It, like they're just awesome. And it has like the delineations, like 30 milliliters and whatnot on it. Do you need those? No, but if you're an engineering nerd or you have an engineering nerd in your life, who doesn't want to be taking their shots out of, you know, chemistry? So so these are specifically shot glasses or they're just like drink glasses in general, like Uh, all all different sizes. They don't hold enough alcohol for a uh, a whole uh, mixed drink. So it is just a shot glass in general, but I think it also is to measure it out to then pour into a different glass. So I see you as a shot guy, James. (laughs) I, I've done a shot or two in my time. (laughs) I think we can leave it at that though. Yes. (laughs) All right. Moving on the next category. What is that one? Luke? This is a 100 to 500. 100. So my first one, and again, you're going to see a little bit of a theme here, you know, keep in mind, this is 2020. We're in a pandemic. My stuff is all related to like hobbies and outdoorsy, you know, stuff for the home, the outdoors. So this one is the Craig K4 MS Jig Master system. So what this does is it makes pocket hole joinery for woodworkers. Oh, yeah. So one of the toughest things you do as a woodworker, and if you're like me and you're an amateur, Mm. when you have to like put two corners together, like there's, there's no easy way of doing it. Like unless you have really big specialized tools and you can do all these crazy joints these pocket hole jigs make a perfect super strong connection and that is 109 dollars on amazon and i actually have this and have used Sounds it like a deal and it's amazing it, it yeah. makes really really great i've made a few tables a few picture frames really good 
It gets Luke's seal of approval. It does. That's that's impressive because he hates on everything. If you've listened yes. to Luke's rant, <laughs> um, isn't isn't our friend Paul like a pretty good woodworker? He is, but Paul would consider this cheating. Like Paul oh, does, like oh. I mean, Paul's like, oh no, you need to hand make dovetail joints with a no. saw and a chisel. Like this is a drill bit, and you just run a screw in it, and it make. So I Paul would that. consider this cheating. Okay, see if you haven't check out our episode. I believe it is the engineer's love affair of 2d drawings yeah that was um, with Paul. he was he was on that episode super smart guy um kind of along those lines of the maker tinker kind of thing i think every year we've done this i've had some sort of this on our list uh with the coupon at the time of purchase on amazon for 129.99 you can get the longer orange 10 resin printer so 3d printer how much sla 129.99 and it's a resin printer remember back when we were like oh printing goodness. stuff like you couldn't get a resin for you know anything like under 300 you couldn't sure. buy a spool of good pla yeah. for under 60 bucks <laughs> this is true this is true so this one it, it's pretty small print uh so 3.8 by 2.2 by 5.5 that's all right but if you're like me you're going to be using it for very nerdy things like board game miniatures <laughs> so and so there's the print's super nice quality very smooth it's 130 bucks that's... i mean i'm thinking about picking one up yeah I'm, i know i don't need it but man i just might so, so you said something earlier james that i oh. I, I, I i think i might take issue with did you say Coupon or coupon? Coupon. Coup. 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 A, Not a coupon. Do you say coupon? It's it. How, how do you how, how do you spell coupon? C O U P O. Is that? Coup? But you don't C-O-U? say the P. You say coupon. you don't put coupon. Coupon. Q. I think I say I think I say coupon. Coupon. Like well, you like, also say <laughs> Star Trek and windmill so i don't i don't ask a lot of okay. questions okay okay good good <laughs> all righty my next one is this is a 159.99 and again keeping with this home office everybody working from home it's the flexi spot m2b standing desk converter mm. so this is one of these things you put on a regular height desk and then what it allows you to do, it has these little hydraulics that you squeeze on either side, and it will raise the keyboard and the monitor to a standing height. You know, and it, it's adjustable up to, I, I forget exactly how tall it is. I think it's about, it gives about like 30 inches of width, and I think it goes up about like 30 inches tall. So uh-huh. those of you who are tired of sitting all day long for basically 160 bucks, you can have a standing desk that can easily convert to sitting or standing with just nice. these little hydraulics. Uh, really nice. I have a standing desk and I like it, but I think I'd rather have a sitting desk with the option to stand. Yeah, hindsight. I've. I've, uh, you'd be proud of me. I'm back to standing for about half of the day now. Since you told me sitting is the new smoking. It is the new smoking. Taking it to heart. I've picked up smoking though. So there's (laughs) that. (laughs) That's not true. Okay. My next one. Actually, before we go into my next one, can we take a break for this week's word from our sponsor? Oh, I have to assume it's Amazon because basically we're giving them all of their business this week. Actually, the Beezer just wrote me a check straight to it. Nice. He didn't want Amazon's name associated I with gotcha. it. I gotcha. So thanks, Jeffy. Um, actually, we don't have any sponsor. Oh. Wah, wah. But we do have some shout outs. Let's hear them. Harry C, double E from Australia. Loving the show, Ooh, wanting some double stickers. Double E, nice. Yeah, smarter than us, I know. Uh, Nathan B, if you remember, he's our number one fan. His dad's got our signature and everything. Oh, Nate Dog. Uh, yeah, Nate Dog, exactly. Uh, sent us a huge list of topics, like 14 of them. I think you're going to like a few of them. And this is a kid too. too, right? Yeah, he's smarter than us too. Love it. Oh, it's terrible. He's so, like... It went, He's so much I, better than you and I. Exactly. It's really discouraging. And then uh, last one for today, Andrew S. Uh, he's in school. He's doing cool things. He was talking about some episode ideas. And he failed to mention that he he is part of a quarter scale tractor pulling competition where they design quarter scale tractors. You basically get the engine and then you go from there and you have to design everything else. It sounds super awesome. And I've never known anything like this exists. I, I enjoy, I like it. Quarter scale models are actually really cool because they're like way bigger than like a typical model. It, it's like, but 
they or they actually pull that's pretty interesting i like i that. thought so i thought it would be something for us to look into for sure so if any of you have ideas for topics that we should cover you just want to email and say hi and have me neglect you for a couple weeks in the email <laughs> i apologize ahead of time uh if you want some stickers if you just want a shout out how about you email us at unprofessional engineering at gmail.com Make sure that you subscribe, like, share, and as always, you can yell at your Alexa device to play the Unprofessional Engineering Podcast. That's right. Okay, back to our 100 to $500 Your number two. Gift. What is Number it? two. Now, don't scoff at me, but I am putting down the Dungeons & Dragons core rulebook gift set, including the Player's Handbook, Dungeon Master's Guide, and Monster Manual. Now, Luke, you're saying, James, so how do, you're a nerd. So how do I scoff? Can, can, can I scoff now? You can scoff. I, I don't know what scoffing actually is, it, but maybe whatever like, it is. <laughs> there you go. Um, so here's, here's my pitch on this one. Okay. First off, we're all nerds and nerds like role playing. Mm -hmm. That's just science. Also, you know, your engineer or techie in your life probably is kind of socially awkward. You know, look at us. I understand how it is, but this is a great way for them to kind of hide yet get out there a little bit okay. role playing. They're pretending they're someone else. They're learning people skills, build some confidence, they're building confidence. They're also doing some quick math and they're doing problem solving. So really just an awesome gift for the okay. engineer or James out there. All righty. <laughs> All righty. My last, uh, 100 to $500. This is $349. This Oof. is the Oculus go standalone virtually re virtual nice. reality headset. 32 gigabytes gigabit and it says xbox 360 i have to imagine these might work with other i i, I don't know i uh, I, I don't yeah. really do gaming but because you're if, old i was old but if i was ever going to do gaming i saw this one where this this person was wearing a vr headset and they had a lightsaber yes i and saw they that were doing this thing where they were like slashing it, it looked like the guitar game like things uh -huh. were flying toward you and instead of like playing it you had to slash them with a lightsaber and it looked amazing and i don't get a lot of exercise at 45 years old <laughs> but if i had one of those headsets on and i had what i thought was a lightsaber in my hand i would do that for hours and i yeah. would and that would be my exercise so yeah for for basically 350 uh you can have a pretty sweet vr headset very nice good choice um I'm cheating on this one for my last one, but I've had my eye on this for a couple of years. Ooh. I still think it's one of the coolest sets out there. For uh, $70, the Lego Ideas Ship in a Bottle. Uh, I, I have you saw seen that, that one? one. I almost so put that on my cool. list. Yeah. Um, so if you haven't seen it, it's exactly like it says. You have like the plastic Lego pieces for the bottle that are clear. It has water, like water on the bottom of it. It has a ship in there. You build it all together. Oh, it's so cool. But you know, I'm a little nerdy. Uh, moving on. Do we want to do the 500 plus now? Yeah, let's do the 500 plus. I think we can get through this and then hit the rant and then we can wrap up with the Sounds kids that don't buy. So my first over $500. Uh, and again, keeping this with like hobbies, non-work related as much as possible because I think everybody's overloaded with work and Zoom calls is $649. This is the Canon EOS M50 mirrorless vlogging camera kit. Mm -hmm, so this mm -hmm. thing has five out of five star reviews on Amazon with over 1700 reviews. Uh, it's a little pricey, but if you have a little extra time on your hand and you have a story to tell and you want to start vlogging, it is a really great kit to get started with. I, I have the younger version of that camera. Okay. Um, and it's a great camera, super easy to use, especially kind of in a stationary vlogging uh, kind of situation. So, uh, so yeah, that's a good one. 650, you can start your vlog pretty easily. Okay, my first one in the expensive category is, and this is going to sound familiar, Luke, it's the HTC Vive Virtual Reality Ooh. System. Uh, this one's going for around $750. Uh, it had a couple different prices on there for me. Um, I did actually have yours on my list as well, but I needed extra for the expensive category. Uh, so this one's really nice, great. Why, uh, why such a big difference, you think, in price? Ergonomically designed, two wireless controllers. Okay. 
has like a patented base station system that's oh, like okay. proprietary for tracking technology. So I think it might operate a little more smoothly or catch on to things. A little well, more mine was easily. also the standalone headset. It probably didn't in include the con the yeah the, yeah. Okay, I got gotcha. you. So really cool looking. It looks like a lot of fun, like you said, for gaming. Uh, VR, as I've mentioned in the past, does make me motion sick. So I probably wouldn't get this for me. But I, I bet a lot of people would love it. You're like that guy you see in those YouTube videos where like the grandpa puts the VR thing on. Yes. He like falls through like a plate Except glass I'm not window. not even 40. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So my my last two, and I'm, we'll do them You're one at a time. going to bust them both out? Oh, uh, no, okay. no. Uh -huh. I'll do them one at a time. But these these are very personal to me. So I, I, I'm apologizing. And these are really expensive. A statue of me? No. I'm hoping my wife is listening or like sure she is someone who has lots of money is listening. So my next one is $19,999. Is this your vehicle again? No, no, this is, no? I have a vehicle listed after this. <laughs> um, but this is the Intech Explorer Discovery Camper. Now, hear me out. If it was just a camper, I'd be like, okay, that's just a camper. But this camper is actually like a cargo like trailer shape so there's a ramp on it so not only could i like help my daughter move back and forth to college when it comes i could help friends like you get furniture if you ever need it i yes. can then take it camping in the summertime and it's it's that's an amazing all aluminum frame and body for it so it'll never rust a little pricey uh but i i just feel like people want to be outside and it's a really inexpensive way to do vacations and with everything going on with this year uh, a lot of people are camping and getting outside because you really couldn't go on vacation to most places so that feels like a company that was like, man, do we need to add one more thing to help guys sell this to their wives? Yes. Like this was designed for you to make that pitch. Like our baby's going away to school and we need to help her move. <laughs> I, don't have to pay, I, don't, I don't have to pay $19.99 to U-Haul. I can pay $19,099. Oh, Luke. Yeah, so wonderful. so in tech, if you're listening, I would definitely put a, take one and put it on professional engineering sticker on the side of it. There you go. I love it. And my next one in the 500 plus category, Lego, if you are listening, obviously I am a big <laughs> fan and you your have second made, Lego. I love Lego so much. And this one's sick. If you haven't, you've, you've seen it. 549.99, the largest set ever now, 9,036 pieces when completed, 10 and a half inches high, 20 and a half inches wide, two feet deep the largest lego set before was the millennium falcon this is the roman Colosseum. oh, oh I don't my think i've seen goodness. that one to be honest it is with you so sick it is awesome and for those of you who listen you know i've been to italy uh all, all of what last year i was over mm -hmm. there for what, a good month almost amazing it was like the highlight of rome it's just so amazing to me and now it's captured in lego form there you what go a, what a steal Okay, my last one, and I went overboard, James. It's by far my most expensive. Oh, no. This is $41,195. <laughs> Podcast money. Podcast money. <laughs> this is the 2021 Ford Bronco Big Bend Edition with you the Sasquatch package. Mm -hmm. So first of all, I'm not a Ford guy. I love the vintage Broncos, like the you know, like yep. the early '70s, late '60s Broncos. They were just the most iconic looking like vehicles in my mind ever. And the new Bronco killed it with their launch. Like Chevy Blazer, basically, you know, it was a turd when they launched it. Like <laughs> they thought it was going to be like, oh, reminiscent of the old yeah, Blazers. They ruined it. The Bronco killed it. If you watch their launch on social media and on YouTube, it like I'm seriously considering when it becomes available buying, like seriously, seriously considering it. But That's you have to get the Sasquatch package, 35 inch tires. So James, so if you got 42K basically, 41K sitting around, I'll take one. I, I haven't told you about our next sponsor that just showed Ooh. up. So maybe we can make that happen. Later. It's Chevy and I'll get a blazer. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs>
I, uh, if, if anybody's been listening to all of our episodes, you know, my buddy, Dave, he was also a Bronco guy. And I have a story for you, Luke, about me falling out of a Bronco sometime. Okay. It might have something to do with those, uh, beaker shot, <laughs> those glasses beaker shot well. glasses. Yes. Okay. Uh, my last one in the big categories, a little bit of a cheat. Uh, there's been this subscription that I've kind of been keeping an eye on. It's called the watch gang. The watch, the watch gang. Yeah. So the watch gang is you can subscribe to this and each month they'll send you a new watch. And basically the shtick is like, hey, we have so many people that we can get this great deal on these watches and we can send them to you at a discount, blah, blah. And they have different tiers. And the platinum tier is $300 a month. And you get this sweet, sweet watch every time. If you haven't checked out our watch episode, it's really good. And watches are fascinating to me. Uh, You know, engineers have to look professional out there, strap a new watch on your wrist every month. You can also choose other options like to get it quarterly because 300 a month is far more than I'm willing to spend. (laughs) 300 a quarter is more than I'm willing to spend. So I haven't pulled the trigger, but it looks really cool. But like after like a year, so you don't, you keep these watches. Yeah, you get to keep the watches. So like after like a year, what do you do with like 12 watches i don't know i wouldn't do it for a full year okay some people really like it okay all right luke let's take a break for this week's luke's rant okay here's my rant and this is really timely considering christmas is right around the corner mm-hmm. and this is apple and i hate making them the center of my Every rant time but this is the apple iphone 12 mini it's like so for i don't know how many years phones have been getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and then all of a sudden apple comes out with this iphone mini and it just it just feels like they're trying to solve a problem that doesn't exist like so many people use their phone for like entertainment video games i watch a fair amount of like prime and netflix on my phone like why would i want my phone to be at this point, you've trained me to know to think that a bigger phone is better. Yeah. How are you, like who's the, fixing a problem they created? Yeah, exactly. Like who wants us? Who wants a physically smaller phone? I I, I don't know. It it, it well, seems you have like, like big man hands. So my my little paw can't hold my <laughs> phone. So you know. Well, you also got like the XL when you got <laughs> yours. It's like an iPad on. It my does. Hand. So yeah. So it's just like I I don't get the mini. I, I, and it, I, Apple in general frustrates me with the way they come out with their phones every few years. It's like they're just they're just driving this just for money. It's not necessarily better, but I I don't know. That's that's my rant. Sorry. If you want to turn in that old iPhone and make some cash, what you can do is listen to our e-cycling episode and Ooh. learn how to steal wow. all the gold out of you, that phone. <laughs> you really got a lot of uh, shout they're outs just, to our episode. Just coming to me today. All right, Luke, let's bust through the aspiring engineers. How about you give me all of yours and I'll give you all of Okay, so I know we said we weren't going to do prices, but I was there. So this is uh, my future engineers. So the first one, I got to go with Legos. This is 400 bucks. The Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts Castle (laughs) Kit. Gotta love your 6,000 pieces. I, I, it, it's all the, it, it's, it's Gryffindor and Hufflepuff and more. It does all of them. I love Legos. Uh, my number two is 140 bucks essentially. And this is the Kanai kit raspberry Pi for eight gigabit starter kit. Um, and this is great because I kind of wish I would have got into a little bit of like that kind of stuff when I was a kid, mm-hmm. some programming and some hardware work, because it's a really tough skill to build as an adult. Uh, next one is the Celestron Power Seeker 500 AZ telescope. This is only a hundred bucks, pretty inexpensive. And I think exploring the universe with a telescope in the sky is a pretty cool thing. Uh, my number four is 24 bucks. I think all kids should have a knife depending on their age. <laughs> and this is the, the Swiss Army multi-tool evolution 10 pocket knife. And I just think it's a it's a skill that kids like I, I I handed my pocket knife to my nephew and he like looked at me and didn't know how to open it and like what I, to do. I was like, Are you kidding me? You're, you're like 13 and you don't know how to like open up a pocket knife and like whittle a stick or like use it to like cut something open. It's just like it's it's a skill that I think all children need. I had a long sword by that age. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Katana. I think we've had this knife conversation we have. before. This is not yes. the first time I've talked about <laughs> giving knives to kids. 
<laughs> and my the last one? And my last one is free, and this is old electronics from Goodwill. Oh, you love your old electronics. Take oh, them man. apart, see what you can do with them. It's just, it's just fun to do. So Luke likes to spend money on children far more than I do, apparently. So here's what I have. I have for $16, I think that might be my most expensive one. Cheapo. Not really, no, 16 The Uncommon Goods Root Beer Science Kit, Ooh. where you can make your own root beer. Hidden, hidden fun fact in here for you, then dad gets to drink the root beer when it's done. <laughs> Somebody's got to test that. I like that. Yes, you yes. do. Uh, Yeasty Goodness is the next one. The Kiwi Co. Science and Cooking Bread and Butter Kit. It comes with all sorts of measuring cups oh. and things like that. Teaches them how to weigh out everything for baking. Uh, comes with some like carbon dioxide filled up balloons for fun. Uh, like it comes up like it's a bunch of baking and science experiments. Are Very you cool a stuff. are you a by volume by weight baker? Hmm? Or whatever oh, the I'm recipe by, calls. I'm a by weight. By right. weight? Okay. Yeah, yes. that's more more accurate. Okay. Yeah. Uh, number three on my list. Uh, best engineering toys. The Engino Discovering STEM Levers, Linkages, and Structures. Ooh, I like kit. that one. It's like a STEM specifically designed. Um, what are those metal linkage toys? Uh, connects. Connects. It's like that, but it was specifically designed for STEM purposes. Okay. Really cool looking stuff. Um Nat Geo are my last two. There's a thing where you can break open four geodes. I saw that. Kit. That's, That's a very cool sick. one. Although yeah. I'd get one, like they don't know what's in it ahead of time. They just think it's a good geode. Mine I'd right. break open and there'd, there'd be nothing in it with my luck. <laughs> That's probably true. And then the last one that I have, again, Nat Geo, the Glowing Marble Run. It's basically you can build kind of like legos where you then race a marble down a track mm -hmm. and apparently it glows which i don't care about because i just want to race the marble but you can then set up the track in different ways and okay. see how acceleration and velocity work okay so james i have my very last section i know you you may or may not have anything in this section oh, but I this do. is we have to do it before we wrap up here this is the don't buy yes sir so do you want to do uh, one at a time or do you just want to go through years and then I, mine? I, so I, I i i know we're getting short on time i'm just gonna list my big one Oh, come on. So, I have so many good ones. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll list mine. So uh, my first one is vacation tchotchke. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> like if, if you're, and, and, and that's why this was like that's for fair. not just engineers, but like if, if you, if, if my sister who does this sometimes gives my daughter an Ocean City, Maryland sweatshirt for Christmas, it's like, you got that at like some store for like $4 or if you Aren't get it you from obligated a, though. Now, like if your if your sister didn't get that, would you be like, oh yeah, I see. I got your mail and you didn't even get. Me yes, anything? but not for Christmas. You can do that, uh, but it has to be right after the visit. Oh, we get, well, yeah, for sure. Oh no. I'm with I, you on that. My sister has given vacation destination gifts as Christmas gifts and she wow. went like four months previous. If your uh, sister listens to us, I hope <laughs> she stops at this point. Uh, next one is uh, hats and shoes. Uh, my, mo my, my mother-in-law, God rest her soul, uh, she would buy me hats and shoes and she thought perhaps I was, you know, geriatric. So she oh, bought yeah. me like really big shoes that never fit. She had no <laughs> idea what my shoe size was and she bought me shoes. That's uh, nice. You know, love her to death, you know, uh, and then she would buy me hats all the time and they weren't like fitted. They were like fitted hats that wouldn't fit. Mm. Um, and, then my last, hats. and then my last one, and this is thanks for the house. I don't care how much your spouse says to you, because I, I told Julie this last year. I said, Julie, I want a brand new Dyson vacuum Ooh, for I Christmas. This. I want it. I want it. I want it. I didn't really want it for Christmas. That was just my way of making sure that I got it. She got me the vacuum and then didn't get me anything else for Christmas. So no matter how much your spouse begs for something for the house, a refrigerator, a dishwasher, a sweeper, a blender, whatever it happens, a TV even, that's for the house. That's not for the person. That's you right. have to, you can still get it, Good, you know, after Christmas sales, but you still, that, that, is, that is not a Christmas gift. That is a house gift. That's I'm, my, that's my, that's my on rant that. on things that don't buy. Yeah, I'm with you on that. All right, so I have four. I'll blow through these. Number one, kind of a double banger here, the PS5 or the new Xbox One X, I think it's called. Why they're not? All, they're all sold out everywhere. You're going to go either wait in line at the before the crack of dawn. To get so you've tried to find thing. one. Is that why? No, I actually haven't. And you know what? Then you can get them online at jacked up prices, like $300, 500 plus dollars over there 
marketed value price or whatever it is. Gotcha. Don't do that. Just wait a little while. You're going to be able to get one just fine. And you know what? They don't have that many new games coming out from yet anyways. Tell your kid to suffer for a little bit longer. Uh, number two, I have Apple AirPods Pro. They're super expensive. I'm not saying they're not good or they're not cool, but I know a lot of people that have them. And if you don't have a Mac that you're connecting them up to for work, then you're going to have a lot of feedback and trouble connecting them. So at least do your research before uh, purchasing these. Next, oh God, these are terrible. 15 <laughs> terrible dollars spent. Flashlight gloves. They're like little <laughs> gloves that you have on your hands. They're not even like covering your whole fingers, but like on your pointer fingers, they have little flashlights and on your thumbs. It's so that when you're working somewhere, you can like get light. Oh my God. You know what's crazy? I saw those exact same things. And I think it's because you and I were searching for gift ideas. And I uh -huh. bet you saw that on Amazon because the uh -huh. way I saw them, they were fishing gloves and there was a light on your thumb and a light on your yeah. pointer finger. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's a crazy algorithm that we yes, would both is. be served up the same thing at different times because of what we were searching for on Amazon. That's yes. weird. And the last thing that I have on my list that's kind of neat, but don't do it. It's a business card case with a circuit board like etched into it. So it's like it's a circuit board on the outside. What's wrong with that? That seems okay. When's the last time you've handed anyone a business <laughs> card, Luke? Or been... when's the last time you kept someone's business card from the convention to home? So I keep them and then I just end up with about 30 in the bottom of my bag after so many yes. years of going to Autodesk University and I just throw them out after a couple of years. Exactly. Uh, I don't think I've ever, did you ever get business cards here? Uh, twice. I got one my first year and then we changed our logo and I got a new box of them and the new box is sitting there, I believe still taped shut. So I've never 11 gotten 11 years them. later. <laughs> I've never gotten them in almost 10 years. That's amazing. I think we've stopped doing it. All right. Well, I really enjoyed this. This was a good always, one. Luke. Um, hopefully you all got some great ideas for this last minute Christmas shopping that you're going to be doing because who doesn't do that? Um, again, if you want to reach out and tell us of any other great ideas for gifts, if you just want to send us presents, if you just want to say hi, email us at unprofessionalengineering at gmail.com. And until next time, see ya.